I'm Gareth Mitchell, and in a special edition of Click from the BBC Radio Theatre, I'll be joined by leading roboticists, a professor who's been experimenting with a robotic head modelled on the pioneer of computer science, Charles Babbage, and a composer who performs with a robot called Hugo. That's Click, online at bbcworldservice.com. The physicist Erwin Schrödinger is perhaps best remembered for his cat, but he was also the first to suggest that quantum mechanics might have a crucial role to play in the mechanisms of life itself. After the news, join me, Jason Palmer, for this week's discovery on the BBC to hear how the weird world of quantum physics may have something to say about birds' abilities to navigate, plants' abilities to harvest sunlight, and your nose's ability to spot a rotten egg. More to come in a couple of minutes. BBC News with Marion Marshall. French-led forces combating an Islamist insurgency in Mali say they've secured control of the historic desert city of Timbuktu. The French and Malian troops were greeted by cheering crowds when they entered the city. A French military commander said troops were conducting clean-up operations because they feared some Islamists might be hiding within the population. An international donors' conference on Mali is due to open in the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa in a few hours to raise funds for the multinational force to fight the Islamist rebels. Thousands of demonstrators are on the streets of the Egyptian cities of Suez, Port Said and Ismailia in defiance of a curfew imposed by President Mohamed Morsi. Mr Morsi announced the month-long state of emergency on Sunday to tackle violent protests. A group of influential Democrat and Republican U.S. Senators has announced details of a plan to reform the American immigration system. The bipartisan plan includes measures to reinforce border security as a precondition to putting nearly 11 million illegal immigrants on a path towards citizenship. Greece's finance minister has told the BBC that this will be the last year of his country's current recession. Yanis Donaris said Greece had turned a corner and no more austerity would be needed as long as his government implemented the reforms already passed. A judge in Guatemala has ruled that the former military leader, Efrain Rios Mont, should be tried for genocide. General Rios Mont will face charges of crimes against humanity in connection with the killing of more than 1,700 indigenous Mayans while he was president in the early 1980s. His supporters argue that the charges are politically motivated. The army in Guyana says it'll investigate allegations that a group of soldiers raided a mining camp, smoked marijuana and stole gold from the Brazilian miners working there. Gold accounts for almost half of Guyana's total exports. BBC News. This is as bad or as good as a breach of strictly coarsen laws. If we suspend physics in the living body,